But a lot of times, a person, not even just a woman, a person will make you a placeholder when you're reaching out constantly looking for closure. And a placeholder is somebody who they fuck with until they find a person that they really want to mm. fuck with. So if you reaching, here you are reaching out for closure and oh whatever, whatever, and they telling you like, oh well, you know, we'll figure it out. Da, da, da. It just ain't the time. So now emotionally, they might ain't fucking you. They might not be spending time with you, mm. but emotionally, they know you in the back yeah. pocket. But they finna keep fucking with other people so they find a person they really want to be with. So reaching out for closure can be dangerous. And it hit different. It hit different. When you different. fucking with a motherfucker who not on the same type of time you want. Yeah. Three, two, one. You feel like your just responsibility because your hand's bigger? No, not necessarily. Are you going to just be the clapper for the network? No, you're actually the thing. <laughs> Her being the clapper is crazy. <laughs> Do your research on Cam being the clapper. Oh, okay. I mean, I wouldn't mind being the clapper. I was just a hands clapper? I wouldn't mind being the clapper, period. Oh, the clapper. Lights, lights, off, lights off, motherfucker. That's fine, too. Wow. Clap right here. <laughs> Go fast. Okay. Shit, break that nigga fingers. <laughs> eat somebody eat box. I hate it here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, closure. Closure is defined <laughs> as having a sense of understanding, peace, and accepted finality of the relationship, whether it's ended because of loss, rejection, or growing apart. Mm -hmm. That's what closure is defined as. And today we're talking about closure on the show. What is closure? Should you ask somebody for closure? Is the does the person in the wrong need closure as well? Do they deserve closure? Are you obligated to give someone closure? So many questions. So many questions. <laughs> but by the end of the show today, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure yes. it out. That's what we're here for. <laughs> What's the keys to closure? Yes. What are the keys to closure? What are the keys to closure? <laughs> Not the cleese. The cleese. I'm drunk. Should I let them know that I'm drunk before the you show starts? You just did. told them. <laughs> Oh, so man. Terry's drunk, like yeah. Welcome to Terry Rosen Podcast, <laughs> y'all. We're back. We're here. Cam's here. Cam haven't been here in a minute. I'm here. When was the last time you he was here? Who me? Yeah. Um, three weeks ago. Guess who's back for the first time in like two seasons? Boogie. <laughs> Not two seasons. Boogie is here. I don't be like here, but he don't be having a mic and shit. We'll be having a mic. Oh, and mic. true. I'm but here. he's back now. Yeah. Boogie with the mic. I'm in it's, probably, it's probably niggas who listen to the show who ain't even up on Boogie. Do y'all homework on Boogie? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. If you're do new, do your homework on if Boogie. If you're in the new, do your homework because they do hit different. They do hit different. Boogie got a mic in the background. background. <laughs> it do hit different. Legendary. Like yeah. Background guy. Pause. For sure. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All our pauses will be pause. present. All the pauses. <laughs> it's hot in this bitch today. I'm sweating a little that's bit. That's because you that's been the drinking. I don't know if the camera. It's because I'm drunk. Y'all not hot. <laughs> no. I don't know who want hot in this bitch. <laughs> Caught his ass Tonse. Beyonce be performing for three hours straight. That's just crazy. I wonder like, how long she somebody could fuck for. made a, like literally sidebar. Somebody made a tweet that I saw the other day that was literally like, I think that not a lot a lot of people take the time to like slow down. And think about people's talent in general, yeah. but really Beyonce's facts like that, like nonstop. Can like Michael Jackson fuck with that Beyonce? That shit is crazy. Question. I mean, I feel like there's they're the only two people that can be no, 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 comparable no. to we each other. We not finna do no fair. That's all I gotta say. We not finna I'm do not no like, like Michael Jackson can just care. play his music and not sing yes, and just moonwalk back and forth. No, 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 no. I'm not saying Michael Jackson's career and talent. I'm saying as a performer. Yes. Three hours straight. Can Michael yes. Jackson perform three hours straight? Absolutely. Do we know that? We seen Michael Jackson perform for three hours. His tours were that long. Do we know he that? He had tours. He was doing yeah. things. We're not going to fucking sit here and try I'm to fucking not, I'm not trying to discredit Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. I'm just trying to say. I know Michael Jackson and is great. And started way before her. Started cool. at fucking five. That's, I don't give a fuck about that. that. No. You, no, so no, 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 no. Niggas are trying to move the goalposts. The goalposts are still that. there. No. It's Michael Jackson's goalposts and Beyonce's goalposts. No, we're not talking about their career goalposts. I'm saying it's a performer, period. I'm not talking about the quality of their music when they started. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Is a performer. Is Michael Jackson is has Beyonce surpassed Michael Jackson as a performer purely? I don't give a fuck about how good who music you like better. When, they, when you go to a yes, concert, only because and Beyonce he died. is performing for three hours. Only straight. because he died. Yes. 
Only because he's moonwalking well, see, to heaven. But, wait, wait, saying. wait. Yes. Can I say something? Can I say Nigga, something? Nigga, he, he had a full career before he died. Yeah, and I agree that if he was still alive. He was, he'd be performing three hours right now. He'd show the fuck. Wouldn't he have be 60? Yes, he would. On sleeping he medicine. He would still be doing what he does. I totally yeah. believe that. Well, I ain't gonna lie. If the nigga need medicine to go to sleep, he fuck around could perform for a long time. You know what? I ain't gonna go there though. Moving on. Go ahead. <laughs> um, what I was gonna say is when Beyonce performs, I've never seen one. Um, she pretty much just sings, right? She does dance sometimes. No, I just, she dances she, a lot. Yeah, and she don't lose her breath. She dances and she be hitting the fucking song. notes. Yeah. That's the devil. Like oh, it God. might be. It it's might be Satan. It might be. Oh, not our fucking episode flagged. Disclosure: We over. do not. Um, yeah, shout out to the though. Beehive. It's shout out because I, we we fucks with y'all. Full disclosure. Despite yeah. what Boogie's saying. Oh, I was not that wasn't Boogie, Boogie that said the, that. The insights of this network. A chick being in the Beehive. Then TJ, why you say that shit on his mic? Yeah, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Another news. Not TJ. It was you. Precious is here. Oh, that's the host man, of Battle of like the Sexes. Attendance. If y'all don't know that, who the host of Battle of the Sexes is, do your homework on Precious. Yeah. I do a little homework. research on that. Yeah, they do hit different. Real Duncan is here. Yes, sir. The original board op. Yeah, ten for ten. He was an op before he was a board op, but in the FC Network, he's just a board op. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. He's graduated. Man, what? <laughs> he's graduated. Yeah. He's went from a he's went from an op to a board op. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Check him out. Do, and you do hit different when you follow your Damn, dreams. Yeah. Why are we buddy? taking it to the A? Hey, close that door. You got, you, got that promo, you got that promo video ready, my man. Coletto. <laughs> my nigga, my nigga CMT just it's so walked crazy in. CMT how just walked people in walked in while we taking attendance. My nigga CMT just walked in this bitch. CMT. Bro. Wait, good Adidas this socks. Sucky ass fucking nickname. You know, I need to figure out where he got the Adidas socks from. Your Adidas sandals is squeaky than a bitch. <laughs> Mine are too, actually. <laughs> 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 you know, he always ain't got grippers. You you need new you do your homework when it's time to get new Adidas slides. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, let's get to this man. shit, man. For real, Lord closure. Jesus. Let's get to this shit. Closure. Ain't that what bitches be having? Closures. Closure. And they, they yes. hair. Yeah. And they weave. That's not what we talking about. No, no. we talking uh, about when when the, the situation open. You need to talk to that bitch. Like, hey, listen, I'm not okay. <laughs> like, baby, I'm not okay. I'm like, not okay. Because I don't know when, where, or why this shit ended. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's tough. But I feel it. Now, I think it's when it comes to closure, it's a lot of different angles to attack closure from. And this this, this episode is probably going to hit home for a lot of people, including myself. I'm a person who needed closure in different situations, mm-hmm. right? Um, it's not something that every situation, every time I fall out with a chick, I need closure. But in them real situations where I'm really emotionally invested, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Especially if I don't like how the situation ended. That's more so when I need closure. Yeah. Like if I'm the person who wants the situation to end and it's like the closure came through your actions and whatever the fuck you made me do to not want to fuck with you no more, that closed oh. the case. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm Close. saying? But when when it's when I'm on the other end of the of the, of the sword, other end of the what? The stick? What is it? Mm, I'm the drunk. barrel. Pause. The barrel. He sent me the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely sent you off. <laughs> he said other end of the barrel. When I'm on the other end of the shit, who's trying to get it? When I'm on the other end of the shit and... um. I'm the person who didn't want it to end. Then it's like, damn, yeah, it hit like different. it hit different. It do, it different. It do, it do. <laughs> so you know, do you feel like you're obligated to give somebody closure? That's no. what I want to discuss first. No, no, why? Absolutely not. I think there are certain instances where you should definitely be able to just say fuck a person and move on. You should be able to say fuck them and move on. Yeah. Like, so if they do you dirty, you feel like mm-hmm. you don't. You're not obligated. To give them I don't closure. owe you anything because. I feel like closure is, and I don't want to say something that like lead directly into like the next thing, but I just feel like closure is something that is when things are ended respectfully or amicably. Yeah. You like that word. I like that word from you. Yeah. Amicably. Yeah. I can't say it though. You just did though. I didn't say it right. I you ain't did. gonna try again. You said it right. Okay. It hit yeah. different when you say the word. It hit you can't different say right. when you pronounce that shit right. Like, yeah. But no, seriously, like, I think that there are certain instances where it's like, yeah, I'll give a motherfucker closure if they need to talk about the shit. And it's just like, hey, this is just a situation where, like, mm, it's just not working out. And if I'm coming to you telling you it's not working out and you don't understand why, but it's not a reason of like disrespect or like, you know what I'm saying, negative energy or anything like that, then yeah, I'll explain to you why. 
So I think in some instances, yes. But there is a lot of situations where people feel entitled to closure and they don't deserve it. And that's totally different. And what's that? Is that when a person did disrespect you or cheated? Yeah. Or like cheated? Yes. What, what, what? Give me the list of things a nigga could do to not deserve. <laughs> not deserve you. closure. Um, I just feel like any disrespect, like where... You cross my boundaries. You know that I wouldn't be okay with this. <laughs> Get, what the fuck? Tell your allergies to tighten up. Yeah, my allergies are crazy. Right now. <laughs> it's the crossover into the season. But um, yeah, like any disrespect, any like you knew this was my boundary and you decided to test it anyways. Um, anything like you keep going, man. I'm trying, but I'm not. <laughs> Um, but yes, anything like you being disrespectful, you crossing my boundaries, you know that I wasn't going to be okay with that and you just want to try to see, that shit is like, you don't deserve, I don't got it. I don't owe you anything. Like, I don't owe you nothing. Like, or even if like, I don't know, like it's closure is crazy. Like sometimes I feel like it's, it's also an excuse to manipulate. It's closure is like a broad thing. Why do you feel like it's an excuse to manipulate? Because I just feel like when <laughs> a nigga has used it on me, like when he know I'm done for real. And it just and be like, like, oh, oh you clothes. use my good heart or my good, like, you know, my good whatever to be like, oh, just let me talk to you for a minute. Da, 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 da. And you talk to me <laughs> and he would just use the opportunity to just get out what he didn't get the chance to say before. Mm, you I know, thought he was trying to get back in there. No, no. <laughs> like the complete opposite. <laughs> so it's a very weird. <laughs> Real. I'm having a sneeze attack. <laughs> Real <laughs> just looked at you like you had I'm COVID. Go. <laughs> it was the funniest yeah, shit. My man's passing that zombie uh, shit. Fold the sneeze <laughs> twelve times. But yes, oh. and I just think that like it, it can be. Cam. It's just, <laughs> You counting the sneezes is crazy. Like I do. <laughs> but it's a slippery slope. But yeah, I done had a nigga like try to manipulate me before. Like, because like he knew that I would be like, oh, he just basically just was just like, I just need to just talk it out. Just like, let me explain to you, like, boo. And then he uses the time to explain to me that I was in the wrong. And so you have to be able to veer that shit because closure, honestly, it's. It's kind of like a weak excuse for people that already know, like, did why they, shit was dead. That they fucked up and they don't want to take kind of even the op even the opposite side too. Because even if it's like I'm the person that got fucked over and I'm the one that wants closure, I know why this shit is dead. Like, what kind of closure do I need? Like, do I need to know why you fucked that bitch? Like, do I need to know Maybe, why the you person don't want to? The per I feel like the people who genuinely want closure and they don't get it, it could build insecurities in them. Because they were internal, they'll never know. They will internalize like, you know, the situation ending. They will blame themselves for the situation yeah. ending. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a person, for example, who got cheated on and fucked over might feel like, damn, like why? Like you said, like I do want to know why you fucked that bitch. Do you feel like that bitch look better than me? Do you feel like yeah. you love this bitch more than me? Like what is it? Because then now like that empty space leave room for people to convince themselves or whatever can, they want to convince themselves of. It's yeah. probably gonna be the worst shit possible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of people insecurities come from. Not getting closure mm. in a mm. in a past situation, you know what I'm saying? That's valid. Oh well, yeah, yeah. But I just also feel like it's half and half. I guess like if a motherfucker show you what it is, and like you, what closure do you need? Like I feel like in some instances you can't be hurting your own feelings, sure. trying to gain closure from somebody who clearly don't give a fuck. Have you ever had to give closure to yourself? Yes. I call it accepting an apology that I never received. Oh, God. <laughs> but I feel like that's outside of just... And I never like, had to accept an apology I didn't receive in the realm of dating, mm -hmm. but in the realm of like life and like mm -hmm. shit with my parents or just different shit that go on outside of just regular life mm -hmm. shit. Like somebody might do some shit and you got to let that shit go. Cause that shit'll tear you down. That person to be out here Don't living their best fuck. life, not giving a fuck about what happened. Living their best and life. And you over here fucked up about the shit, mad, angry at the world, taking the shit out on other nope. people. Can't do it. Sometimes you do just gotta forgive a motherfucker. For yourself. Even if they didn't apologize yeah. to you. Like it you is gotta do it is. for yourself. Cause at the end of the day, like what I came to terms with probably within like the last two years, like how people are has nothing to do with you. 
like how they chosen to be, how they've been, whatever, that don't got nothing to do with you. And if you keep on replaying that shit over and over again, wondering like, oh, what could I have done differently? No. And they out here just doing them. Don't even really give a fuck, like for real. Like you got to keep that same energy and just move on. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I think that like is a is 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 a guy is a man really. I feel like a lot of times we got to give ourselves closure, or we should, because even if you reach out to a chick, mm-hmm. it's just like, you know, as a man, we we do want to show certain levels of vulnerability. At certain times, mm-hmm. but that's too much, though. For me personally, I can't. Even, I ain't gonna try to sit here and speak for all men, but for me personally, the way I feel when I reach out to a bitch for closure, no, <laughs> like, yeah. like no, like I, I like it, th- this. It feel like you going against the grain for real. Like, like I'm really, doing too much. Like yeah. all right, this bitch don't want to be here. That's it. Mm-hmm. I got to figure out a way for myself. And then a lot of women don't give the closure that you want because a lot of women aren't accountable, or a lot of women aren't like. Yeah, was y'all cool? <laughs> what's going on like that? But a lot of women just, you know, you know, they're gonna beat around a the bush. They gonna uh or some women some women it could be the accountability part, some women it could be just them being too nice. Them not want wanting to know them not wanting yes. to say yes. what really the issue is or say like, oh no, nah, this just ain't it for this reason. A lot of women will leave that open door. Mm-hmm. Like you'll reach out for clothes and they be like, Oh, well, it's just a thing where like just right now I don't feel like that's mm-hmm. a good time. But you know, I think it might come a point where we might Figure it out, or woo woo, and now your ass really trying to like, well, shit. Let me see how I can speed that process up and figure this shit out mm-hmm. right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So, yeah. It's sometimes like a woman. Sometimes a person, even if they're willing to talk it out with you, they're never going to give you the closure you need to be able to move on. And a lot of times we're going to talk about placeholders. That's a kind. Of, that's an episode we've been mm-hmm. trying to have yeah. that we never had. Yeah. But a lot of times, a person, not even just a woman, a person will make you a placeholder when you're reaching out, constantly looking for. Closure and a placeholder is somebody who they fuck with until they find a person that they really want to mm. fuck with. So if you reaching here, you are reaching out for closure and oh uh, whatever, whatever, and they telling you like, oh well, you know, we'll figure it out. Duh, duh, duh. It just ain't the time. So now emotionally, they might ain't fucking you. They might not be spending time with you, mm. but emotionally, they know you in the back yeah. pocket. But they finna keep fucking with other people until they find a person they really want to be with. Mm. So reaching out for closure can be dangerous, and they hit different. When you different. fucking with a motherfucker who not on the same type of time you want, yeah. when you trying to close the situation out and they taking advantage of the situation, make you a placeholder. Yeah. But that's part of it as well. But I think that it's a guy reaching out for closure. I think that us, we need to give ourselves our own closure. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk about that a little later in the show as far as like how to give yourself your own closure. Mm-hmm. But let's move on, man. Mm-hmm. We got any thoughts on that? Any other thoughts on that, Cam, before we move on? Um, no. Let's move on to what instances is closure unnecessary or necessary? Like what's the instances to where it's just like this situation need closure, this situation don't? I just feel like um I don't know. So I will be honest. When you I feel like as we get older and we're in like the dating room. And we're trying to find our person and we're trying to make shit work. And I feel like as we get older, we kind of get more. Some people say like we get less lenient, but I think as we get older, we get a little more lenient because I think that we can see things from a different perspective. So the things that we would trip about when we were younger become more tolerable as we get older, especially if you are still in the dating pool. You kind of start to look at things like, how can I see this from a different perspective? Where I won't be looking at it like I just can't deal with that shit. At yeah, all. You, you ain't trying to be so nitpicky. Yeah, you kind of realize that like if you I'm gonna be with somebody, can't. I can't nitpick. You them. can't like yeah. in this day and age, time period, realm, dating pool, blah blah blah, all of that. You literally we can't be as picky as we were when we were younger. We just yeah. can't. You're not gonna have anyone. Yeah. So it's just like I think that there are certain situations where you be like that's intolerable versus like, hmm, let me talk to you through this. Let me figure out if we can come to some sort of middle ground to figure out how to navigate this. Yeah. But a lot of the times it really just be simple, like shit happening over and over and over again. Yeah. And that's the instance where it's like, I can't (laughs) like, I'm good. Like I, I just like, that's, that's it. 
but working through it though through shit with a person that's trying to learn you trying to get to know you all of that that's different mm -hmm. but i think that when it comes down to the fact where a person's asking for closure because they keep on fucking doing the same shit over and over and over again that's when it's like i don't owe you anything it's unnecessary for me to give you closure because you're only using this conversation as an opportunity to work your way back in it's manipulative i'm not gonna lie i'm not i hear you on that mm -hmm. but i'm not gonna lie like I'm the type of person who I could give you that conversation and still close the fucking door. I'm the type of person who I'm not even finna block you. Mm -hmm. I'm finna let you call my phone and ignore <laughs> your shit. I'm finna let you text my phone and let you see that shit deliver. I don't do rare receipts, mm -hmm. but I let you see my shit deliver. Is rare receipt sassy? No. I feel like is rare receipt sassy? <sighs> Can we get a general consistency? Because you no, leaving a bitch on red, you feel like it's sassy? Because you have to turn them on. Is it any You different? have to opt in to rare receipts. My shit was on. I got mm. my phone. Oh, okay, Kevin yeah. said he eliminated himself from the sassy <laughs> shit. He said, like, "If this sassy, this phone came this way." I don't know. I guess that's true. I don't know, but I don't dictate it as sassy. Like I don't okay. consider it sassy, you know. But yeah, I, I feel like for me personally, what's when closure is necessary or not necessary, it just depends on the severity or the, the seriousness of the situation, mm -hmm. and it's fucked up because that can differ from both people in the situation. Mm -hmm. Some shit to me could be super like. This shit was light, like this wasn't nothing. But to the person I'm dating, it could be and that's when it becomes big. a little struggle. So kind it's kind of kinda like you want closure, and I'm looking like for what? And like, I literally dealt nothing. with a situation like that. I literally speak had a situation on, on like that where it was like, um, the it's so crazy how alignment works because like you really do need to be aligned with that person for it to like travel into like a safe and secure space because yeah. if that's not the case it becomes like a push and pull that becomes a very awkward and weird thing when two people are not on the same accord at the same time yeah. so it was a situation where it was just like it was way more emotion being put into the situation than me but it's not like i wasn't there it was just that we had such different track records and pasts yeah. that we could not find a way to be aligned like he hadn't dealt with that many people. He like was just very tolerable to the fact that like it was going to take him some time to find the right one, find the right me. It's like I've been through all this bullshit with all these niggas. And here I am expecting the right thing because I'm not willing to deal with anything less. Yeah. And that was very hard to align with each other because he's just looking at me, looking at me like, well, I can give you what I know I can give you. And I know that that's enough because it's been enough for maybe the two or three women that I've dealt with. Yeah. And me, I'm looking at it like, well, I'm not willing to settle for less because I've fucking dealt with so much fuck shit. Mm -hmm. And it just couldn't like, and he wanted a certain type of closure that didn't make sense to me. Mm. Because he felt so much deeper. But me, I'm, I got my guard up. I'm feeling you. I'm liking you. But like at the same time, like I didn't deal with so much bullshit that like I'm moving into this space very carefully yeah. where you're as like, and don't get me wrong. I'm whole, but I'm just being safe. So you're moving into the space with me as a whole woman and you love what you're like, what's what you're seeing, what's going on. And this is great for you. But when it didn't work out, the closure that he needed was no match for mine because I didn't need any at all. Yeah. And what what do you think it is when it when it's when situations happen like that to where it's like someone's way ahead of the other? Because I feel like a lot of emotions should just be mutual. Like if you if I'm not feeling you like that, something mm -hmm. in you should be able to sense that mm -hmm. and kind of like slow yourself the fuck That's down. It's not the case, but it's not the case because it depends and, on where someone's at. And, and I've been I've been on both sides of it, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to try to sit here and sound like I'm the most player mm -hmm. nigga in the world. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I've been on. I'm usually on the side of like she was feeling we me way more than mm -hmm. I was feeling her. But it happens though to where I'm on the side of like I was gone. Like yeah. I was on shorty and she wasn't on shit at all. Yeah. And I'm like, how the fuck did I get here? Yeah. And I think for me, it's been situations to where it's like I see certain characteristics and I romanticize this bitch in my mind. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I see you got what I want. And because of that, I'm just so locked in. And I'm I'm going mm -hmm. off of I'm going off of like the, your characteristics more so than like where we actually are mm -hmm. and what's happening mm -hmm. and how we interact. Mm -hmm. It's more of my imagination <laughs> and the imagination of me having you as my person because I know you had a characteristic. Even though you've done nothing like. to prove that yet. 
Exactly. Yeah. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? The <laughs> like, actions haven't been there. You've just shown me. Yet, through, you know, yeah. and yeah, you just shown me through conversation and you've shown me through your actions, how you treat other people. Like, oh, well, damn, she communicate great. That don't mean I should be in love with this yeah. bitch. She haven't done nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn, she's super understanding. Mm -hmm. or she's super spontaneous. She's super, like, affectionate. Woo -woo. But that don't mean I should be in love with this bitch. But it's because I, I look so hard for these characteristics and now I finally yeah, found absolutely. them. I'm gone. Yeah. And Shorty like, what? What? Like, you like, chill. Like, relax. what? Relax. And yeah. And that is a slippery slope. Like, it's yeah. a slippery slope. So I think, I think that that's when closure gets finicky. Yeah. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, you need closure. Like, what do you mean? Like, and I've had instances where to just be like, I'm just like, whatever. And niggas like, can I call you right now? And I'm just like, okay, wait, I'm I'm confused. Like, let me and I you wanna settle the day. Hey, hold on, I'm with my new nigga, chill. You want <laughs> <laughs> But you wanna settle the day. Let me go you feel me? But then it gets like it's it's hard to kind of balance emotionally, I guess yeah. you can say. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I'm in a space to where like I got to text a chick to ask for closure because she ain't fucking me like that. If I text her and she don't respond right away, I'm like, she with this nigga? She done already found this nigga, G. I'm finna pull up, bitch. I'm, I'm on my way right up. now. We finna talk to right the now. Metal, like, but no, it is, it's, it's crazy. And I think that it all comes down to the fact of like, read the room. <laughs> read the room is so insensitive to say in this situation, Karen. Read the read room. Read the fucking room. Read the room. And that goes for women That's harsh, and men. That's But it's true. Read the room. Read the room. Like you, we, oh my God. I just wish that everybody had the talent. And I'm going to call it a talent. And it might seem like a weird thing to call it talent. But I wish that everybody had the talent to just like pause and like sit with themselves for like 45 to 60 seconds and just realize like don't go off the fucking bridge like this like don't do it like don't go haywire like this. it's easier said than it done, is man, easier said than done. that's so why i said i wish to... everybody had the capability because it's, i feel like god be playing them karma games with niggas <laughs> God be playing Not them you games. blaming God. I blame God for everything. Oh, man. You do. You are. You do. I, I you should. Are them. You are. No, you should not. But yeah. How, how come I shouldn't? Here we go. Here we fucking go. Let's Here do it. Here we go. We're Let's not going there. Here we go. Let's do it. Should I not? I shouldn't. I shouldn't. No, Don't he get it's going to be like, should I not? You're going to say the first sentence and there's going to be no more of the rest of this, this episode. Don't I, don't I get, don't he get to, I give him the glory for everything? <laughs> yes. So he should take all the praise and none of the blame. I don't like doing this. Um, okay, okay. All so... Right, so listen. Shout out to God. Listen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was I finna say? I forgot what I was finna say. Where are we right now? You're terrible. That's God making you forget for playing. God mm -hmm. playing with my brain. See, that's, why, that's what it is, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. No. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, where we at, man? Uh, let's see. Wait, hold on a second. Um, okay, so who searches for closure? Who you feel like searches for closure more? Between men, men and women. Or women. Mm -hmm. I hate when we try to do the men. The I know, thing. I hate that too, but at the end of the day, it's like, a human I got my thing. answer. It's a human thing, and I feel like who searches for it more? I've had more women look for closure for me mm -hmm. than I've had for them, mm -hmm. but I think that probably, I would probably say women just because men play more games mm -hmm. and are looking for relationships a lot less. Mm -hmm. So if typically a man isn't looking for a relationship, he's not going to be the one seeking closure. You know what I'm saying? But unless he's on some fake closure shit to where like he really was trying to fuck the whole time and his freak bitch then canceled him and now he like, he need closure. You do need freak bitch. When, you, do, you do need closure when you lose your throat goat though. And that shit hit different. When you need, when you lose your throat goat, it's a different type of closure you need. Because you know she's not going to be replaced anytime soon. So anyways. Okay. I actually agree. Women? I think it's... Yeah, simply because we're more emotional. I don't got to go into all extra bullshit. Um, yeah. I think that... And I was, honestly, um, even aside from us being more emotional, I will also say that women probably request closure more due to the fact that, like, we... I think that we kind of like women are also a little bit more delusional than men. 
So I think that we kind of get to like the point. Sometimes we're like, nigga, how could you stop fucking with me? <laughs> like we might get yeah, like on be... some cocky shit. Yeah. We're just like, oh no, I need a solid reason. Like, how could you stop fucking with me? Like, and I think yeah. that that's when closure becomes not manipulative. Like it'd be manipulative on the men's end, but then it'd be like kind of like hallucinative on the woman's end i guess yeah you know and that's what i think closure come down to i like that you just said that it's like Mm -hmm. how could you stop fucking with me i think closure the need for closure comes down to like your brain literally trying to process like what the fuck what just happened i think it's hard to walk away from a situation emotionally Mm -hmm. when mentally you can't process exactly why this is ending Mm -hmm. and why this can't work and having a thorough understanding of that and that's the fucked up part is that like we always say when the emotion is high, logic is low. So when you are emotional, even if somebody gives you a plain view of why this shit is not going to work, you can't accept you, it. You can't accept it. You can't see it because you too caught up in your emotion, and all you can see is ego, your way. Emotion, and ego, all of that shit. For sure, yeah. for sure. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's crazy. Let's see what else we got. What else we got for the people? Um. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Let's do one more and hit him with Cam's corner. Okay. I hope you're going to pick the same one I am. Let's see how in tune we are. So let's do two. Mm. From Ramey's. Go ahead. If your significant other needed nope. closure from the last relationship during the time that they're dating you, would you be okay with them meeting up with said person and getting their closure? Nah, we need to break up. We need to break up. Okay. Because why would you get into a new relationship without closing the door? Well, it, I feel like she kind of used double words. Y'all are only dating. Oh, so, so we're not in date, a relationship. Y'all not in a relationship. Man. Oh, so yeah. we If we're not exclusively dating, mm-hmm. do what you got to do. Okay. I might talk I might talk you through the shit. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm on, exclu- on a, we not exclusive dating shit. I'm super. Lenient. Not even lenient because you don't owe me shit. But I'm super like Touché. open. Mm-hmm. I'm not one of them niggas that's trying to police the pussy or none mm-hmm. of that shit. Like, if we not together, you could do what the fuck you mm-hmm. want to do. And I want to keep it that way because I want to see who you really are. Yeah. And I absolutely. think when a lot of that's niggas real. be dating chicks and be like, oh, damn, bro, she fucking other niggas. Or well, it's a whole thing out here where it's like, oh, a nigga, some, some men feel like, a man is a simp if he's dating someone, not in a relationship, but just dating a chick, talking to her, and she fucking other niggas, and he cool with it, he's a simp. Then it's another population of men who feel like you're a simp if you give a fuck what she's doing and she's not your girl. Because why are you so butthurt over what she got going on and she's not even your girl? Like, you on some Tinder dick shit, right? I'm more on that side of shit. Like, Tinder if this is not your girl and you're not even ready to be in a relationship your damn self, yeah. why I mean, the fuck I mean, is you worried about I'm what the fuck she doing? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So Maybe. to answer your question, like You'd if she need, that. I'm cool. Like go ahead and get that closure because when we in that dating phase and I'm letting you do what the fuck ever you want to do, I'm seeing you gonna get comfortable mm-hmm. doing what the fuck you want to do, and I'm gonna see exactly what you mm-hmm. want and how you Who is, you are. and we gonna we gonna be good regardless mm-hmm. if we end up together or not. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, I also think, what's up? You good? I I also think um, I lost my whole train of thought. Go ahead. (laughs) Of course. Um, But yeah, no, I honestly agree. I'm in total agreement. I think that like um, if we just talking, we just kicking it, we just whatever, it's not exclusive, we not, then yeah, by all means, like I feel like you should get the closure that you deserve. Period. But I listen, if a bitch don't give you closure and like that shit start making you tweak or making you like nah, it's, a rap. it's a rap. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, like, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Because everybody not gonna be like cause like we was just talking about, like, I feel like oh, I don't need no closure at all. That motherfucker if I decide not to give you closure because I'm just not in that space yeah. and I just don't wanna revisit that shit, because that's another thing, like people are obligated to deny someone closure. Well, they have the opportunity to not want to close. Not yeah, obligated not them, obligated, yeah. but you have the op- like you are more than welcome to be like, no, that's nah, not. I'm out know. of that space now, and I don't yeah. owe you anything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 
So if my if the person that he's looking for closure with did not have closure and it makes him like it puts him in a different space with me, then like that's just moved. You know what's crazy? I'm so anti ghosting. I'm anti ghosting. I'm not. I'm anti ghosting. I don't fuck with that shit. And it's probably because I don't I don't like when people play with me like that. Mm-hmm. That I wouldn't play. And that's only happened to me. I don't think I had nobody really ghost me. I just had people like fall back in a weird way. Mm-hmm. So it's like I can still get in contact with you. You're still responding here and there. It's just dry. But it's not, it's dry. Yeah, that, yeah, that shit. It's just dry. You bitch get the dry text hey. to me. It's just like, and I'm not finna press. Oh, okay. So I feel like I'm getting ghosted. Is that worse than getting ghosted? Because <laughs> y'all already do not worse. say shit, bitch. Because you dragging it. These, you taking this opportunity to be like, mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm so anti all that shit that I give closure off top. Mm-hmm. Like I had a situation today, mm-hmm. literally today, where. Um, and I don't know if this qualifies closure because it wasn't a thing, but it was a chick I was I was talking to on and off since 2020, mm-hmm. and um, basically, you know, it just got to a point we we tried to date at a point I wasn't in no space to be serious. She was looking for some serious same situation I just described. Where it was mm-hmm. it meant a lot more to her than to me. Mm-hmm. Never made her no promises, nothing like that. And I was wilding out. I was I was doing whatever I wanted to do, and I had the right to because that was the space I was single. I wasn't lying to nobody. Like that's the space I was in. But I was I was I was turned. And um, bad timing, right? Mm. So I come back around. And I'm just like, you know what? She had a lot of good qualities that I like, and now I'm in a space to really date. And mm-hmm. like some of the qualities I'm looking for, she has them already. Mm-hmm. So like, I wanted to date her again. Of course, she, you know, traumatized for the first time we dated. Like you just was a wild ass nigga, and, <laughs> da, 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 and it's just like, well, I mean, that's what the fuck I was on. Like mm-hmm. I was a wild ass nigga. I never told you nothing different. <laughs> like mm-hmm. anyway, mm-hmm. uh, now. She turned the tables. I'm trying to be like, what's up? Like, mm-hmm. da, da, da. she entertaining that, but still like doing, like just on some whole other shit. And yeah. it's like, of course we dating. So it's not no situation where I'm expecting much from her. Mm-hmm. And when I'm dating a chick, I just always tell them like, you can do whatever you want to do. Just don't play me to the left for a nigga. Mm-hmm. Meaning that get, have your shit together. Mm-hmm. Like if you finna go out with a nigga, you don't have to tell me that. You, if you want to tell me that you finna go out with a nigga, you can, but you don't have to tell me that, but don't tell me you finna do X, Y, Z with me, and then another nigga call your phone and you switch up. Like I don't play them type of games. Yeah, for sure. Like have your shit together. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like any of that shit. So first time I think she uh she invited me to a birthday party and then another nigga she fuck with showed up. So I'm damn near on the way there and she called me like yeah like tried mm-hmm. to give me some goof ass excuse and I saw through the shit. So I hollered the next day like what's up. Mm. And she like, yeah, do that, show da, da da da. So that's kind of my thing. Like, don't don't put don't have no weird shit going on. Anyway, fast forward, she it was a lot of that type of shit going on. She mm-hmm. she coming out of a situation, constantly going back and forth, da da da. So shit just started getting weirder and weirder. So I decided she blocked me and like out the blue. And I text her. I, I seen I was blocked. She hit me on Instagram on some casual conversation shit like, uh-uh. a week later. <laughs> and I, I hit her like, damn, gee, I hit you the other day. You am I blocked? She like Damn, my bad. I forgot I blocked. Bl- she blocked me, and she's like, "I forgot I blocked you." Type shit. But you unblocked now. You can hit me up. And I asked her like, "What's up?" And she hit me with some like fake trauma shit. I don't know if it was fake. I ain't gonna say that. Mm-hmm. But she hit me with some lightweight. This happened. Da 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 da. And I just felt like I needed to, whatever. Like you mm-hmm. can't. Like I don't know. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna give it a pass just because you. She used some type of trauma shit. So then it happened again. Like I hit her up again. This is probably like two, three weeks later, and I'm blocked again. So I hit her like, oh no! Um, I hit her on fa- I hit her on the on the internet. Like, damn, I'm blocked. You blocked me again. And mind you, like even though I like Shorty, it's not really deep. Right. It ain't deep. Yeah. At all. Like on either end, it ain't deep. It's like I like you. You got qualities I like, but this ain't deep though. Like we just. We we chilling, we but it's still me trying to other. figure out like what the fuck because you could easily not fuck with me because you're clearly yeah, fucking like, with this you, nigga. You're just being weird, you know. What and I'm you're saying? blocking so, me when you're with this nigga, and forgetting that you blocked me. Like and how now, you forgetting you blocked and then, me? Then when that's I ask you crazy. about it, you want to give me some like excuse, we but get, on some yeah, fake trauma weird. shit though. Yeah, like no, that's not cool. You feel me? So yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. So the second time, I f- I peeped it, and she like. No, nah, you not blocked. Hit me right now. So I text her and this shit go through. You but I'm like, me. <laughs> like, duh, bitch, you just unblocked yeah. me. So I say, I don't even say shit. I'm just like, it's a rap. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't say shit else. She get the call to me. A couple days later, she called me. I don't, I ignore the shit. She called me like two times. And then she called me again the next day. And I, I started to feel like I don't like when people, I don't like yeah. when people ignore me. 
Yeah, so you felt so the need to I be felt like, the need to reach out and say like, hey, reason, and give like, that closure. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? Even for though sure. she didn't necessarily ask for it, she did not deserve it. I just had to be either. like, like she did or didn't weird. deserve no, it or didn't ask did for not. it. But because I don't like being ignored, I say, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and let her know exactly yeah. what the fuck going on, and, and that's like, respectable. Hey, like, I'm not that's, fucking with you. You can stop calling me. Like, just stop. Yeah, I'm not. I want to talk moving forward. It's a wrap. Like, and that's crazy how motherfuckers and and it's crazy because that's a sign of like. I guess that's like a signature of boundaries because yeah. like if a person like take her for instance if you did not set that boundary and be like you could just stop calling like I'm she motherfuckers be thinking like you got that door open regardless because I ain't gonna lie like the few times that you did like oh, I'm just gonna let it slide because we testing your boundaries like constantly 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 she wouldn't have never stopped yeah if she never if you never been like yo that shit did so. Yeah. I guess at the end of the day, that is the way to say, like, sometimes closure is necessary. And I think that's what it comes down to, like, and this is for people listening, right? Because it doesn't necessarily apply to this situation because it wasn't deep. Mm-hmm. But in, even in deep situations, it you have to care about yourself and your own feelings Absolutely more than the other first. person. Yes. Because it's been times where I gave a fuck about this person's feelings more than mine to the point where I'm setting this boundary to show you you can't play with me, knowing that in the long term, I still want to fuck with you. So, like, I'm going to eventually fuck with you again. And at the end of the day... It might let you cross this boundary. Yeah, and it's like, in my yeah. mind, I'm telling myself <laughs> I'm not, but I am no, I'm only setting this... I'm not setting this boundary with the pure intention of, I ain't fucking with you because you mm-hmm. did this. I'm setting this boundary to prove a point for mm-hmm. the moment. Mm-hmm. And eventually, I'm, I, I know I still want to fuck with you. Yeah. You have to care about yourself more than the other person to be able to say that, like, this person crossed this boundary, and I'm really not yes. fucking with them. And that's another thing with closure. I'm glad that you said, like, you have to know, like, you fucking with it. Because the thing with closure is it has to align. Yeah. Like, I have to be fucking with me more than you fuck with me. I mean, I have to be fucking with you more than you fu- You have to be fucking with me yeah. on the same alignment. Otherwise, you're not going to understand why I need closure. For sure. You're not going to get it. You're going to be like, bitch, it wasn't that deep. Like, what the fuck? But for you, maybe it wasn't. But yeah. for me, it could have been a whole different thing because I was on a whole different playing field. It's crazy. Sure. Like, for it's sure. wild. It hit different. It hit different. It do hit different when you need closure and the other motherfucker don't. Damn. <laughs> it do hit different. Hey, you got Cam's Corner for us? I do have Cam's Corner. So Cam's Corner, as y'all know, always sticking to the topic. At the end of the day, I just think that when it comes to a situation where you feel like you need closure... Just enter the situation lightly in regards to having that conversation with a person. Because in a lot of instances, some people may not be on the same plateau. And I only say that because normally when two people, and I didn't want to, I wanted to say this for Cam's Corner and I didn't mention it during the show. But normally when two people are on the same playing field in regards to closure, like when they both need it. Yeah. In most instances, that's just a situation that can be worked out. Absolutely. And these two people finally reach the same calm moment where they can discuss this, talk it out, and move forward. Mm -hmm. That's why when it comes to someone who denies you closure, don't beg, don't plead. Sometimes you're just on a different level than other people, emotionally, mentally, whatever, and they're just not willing to give that to you, you have to be okay with that because at the end of the day, I don't think that anybody owes anybody closure. I think that closure is just one of those things that is polite to give if you want to. Yeah. At the end of the day, if somebody doesn't understand why things ended or if things ended badly and now you're recovering from treating someone poorly and now you want to talk about it, you're not owed that. So I just think at the end of the day, people need to understand that closure is a lucky thing. You be lucky for someone to talk a situation out with you after it's dead. Because once it's dead, that's just what it is. Um, I think now in my 30s, I think that I'm so communicative that I don't have closure for anybody. Because I'm pretty sure that I told you what was up. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that I've communicated this multiple times because like I said now that we're older we can't be as finicky picky whatever for the shit that we was like getting taken aback by fucking five years ago six years ago like we just can't like you kind of get a broader view of what you're willing to accept I won't lie I'm not willing to accept bullshit but there are a lot of things that I'm like "Eh, okay like whatever so at the end of the day like if you don't feel like you owe somebody clothes you don't have to give that to anybody 
But also if a person is denying you closure, then just move on. You spoke on the fact that it comes from a place of insecurity. At the end of the day, sometimes that's just what it is. And you really just got to get over that type of shit yourself. Because some people really will manipulate the situation. Some people will even manipulate the situation to the fact where they know they owe you closure. And they yeah. won't give it to you because they know that that will be a good, positive thing for you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, at the end of the day, you just got to accept every situation for what it is. Accept the lesson that it taught you, the knowledge that it gave you. And you just got to push forward. And that's what it is. Absolutely. Corner. Absolutely. Absolutely. So to close the show, I'm going to give y'all some ways to um, kind of get closure on your own. Mm -hmm. Like close the shit out. Yourself. And of course, who is this for? Who is this it for? for? The young niggas. What the fuck is you talking about? Oh. Young niggas is watching this shit. Anyway. Okay. All right. So this is this 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 what it is. Not even it just I'll be saying the young niggas. Right. Niggas I'm like, young, okay. This is for all niggas. Yes, Cause sometimes, exactly. you know, yes. we all be there. You know what I'm saying? We all fall short of glory at times. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm here for niggas. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so number one, the first way to uh Get yourself close. Just the first thing you gotta do. You gotta pay respect to your own emotions. A lot of niggas try to deny their own emotions because we're men, because we just feel like we're not allowed to feel this way. We'll feel that way and suppress the shit. Mm -hmm. It don't go away when you suppress it. It really just boiling, it's boiling under the surface and it's gonna eventually boil the fuck over right. later on in life. Probably in a different situations when somebody don't even know what the fuck going on. Um so Acknowledge your feelings and give yourself space to like really feel those feelings out. And the way to do that is to really be alone and be by yourself and not do things to distract yourself like play Call of Duty all day <laughs> or um, get high or get drunk or no shit like that. Like really just kind of sit and think about the situation, think it through. You're going to come to a solution. Just like anything else, if you're thinking about how to work a business out, but you only think, if you say you want to start a business, you only think about it in your pastime. You think about it when you drive and you think about it when you cook and you think about it when you on the phone with people. If you sit by yourself with a sheet of paper and think about that business for long enough, you're going to work that shit out and have mm -hmm. a real plan. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with your emotions. If you sit, if you think about it, you know, just in passing or you, you, you use different things in your life to avoid thinking about it, you're mm -hmm. never going to get past it. It's just going to be something on the bottom of the surface. So you really got to just sit alone and intentionally think yourself through your own situation. It's no different. Niggas, we, we logical, we problem, you know, we solution based people. So we, we, we could get through anything. Um, the next thing is you got to forgive yourself. You know what I'm saying? For whatever that you might have done wrong in a situation, if that's the case, if you done something wrong, if you cheated, if you lied, if you played a role in the situation and then it's usually enough blame to go around. I feel like outside of abuse, it's always two sides to the coin. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Abuse is abuse. You yeah, you abuse just, somebody, yeah. you fucked up. Somebody abused you, they fucked up. But other than that, it's usually two sides to the coin, no matter what it is. Somebody cheated, it was a reason why. It, you know, mm. it, it, it's two sides to the coin. So forget yourself for your part, and then shit, forget them for their part, whether they apologize or not. You got to learn how to let that shit go. It's easier to let it go when you find some type of understanding and rationale for it. That understanding and rationale might not come from them. That's why niggas need female mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. because a female friend will be able to kind of walk you through that situation when maybe she felt like this or maybe it wasn't a, it wasn't nothing wrong with you maybe she felt like it was just easier to go fuck with somebody else who she hadn't been through a, a bunch of bullshit with and she get a fresh start it ain't nothing against you you know what i'm saying so it's that too you got to learn how to forgive yourself and not internalize the what went wrong in the situation um the next thing is shit block your ex <laughs> all they say that shit they say that shit sassy all that shit fuck them hoes I agree. listen do what you gotta do. I'm the type of person who I, I I take pride in the fact that I'm mentally strong enough to like not block somebody on my phone and not hit them up. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's that I'm mentally strong enough or is that I'm just I'm only visually stimulated. Cause if I see the bitch, it's a wrap. I'm not gonna lie, I'm on that. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I see her, if I come across that IG, I come across that story, she out of town looking good. I can't resist, I can't help myself. Well, at this age, I can, I I'm a lot better at it, but <laughs> historically. Terry been the nigga who, gee, I come across, it's spring break in college. What? You this bitch out of town jump. looking good. You got a good. swimsuit on, bitch. Oh, yeah. I'm calling you right now. I'm finna fuck both our trip up. We finna sit on this phone for two hours Ooh, and figure this shit out. Toxic as fuck. Yeah, I was that guy. So, <laughs> block block shorty ass if you need to block her. If you can't resist calling her, block her. 
Um, but one thing I am gonna do, even though I'm not gonna block on the phone, on a on a call and text side, I'm definitely gonna block on the social media side. Mm. It's over with. Cause I can't see you. I might just mute the shit, or I might just block you, unfollow you, whatever I gotta do. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna block you. I'm gonna unfollow you because I'm you gonna you can see my shit. I'm an unfollower for sure. Because I'm gonna live it up, bitch. Um <laughs> Other Take thing, on. man, lean on your tribe, G. Lean on your tribe, your people. Your people that's giving you the good advice. Don't lean on the whole tribe. Don't lean on the niggas telling you that, like, damn, she was bad, bro. You tweak. Don't listen to that nigga. Get him the fuck up out of here. Don't even tell that nigga your business no more. You know what I'm saying? Lean on the on the people that's that's rational. Not the people that's just yes me and telling you what you want to hear, but the people that's also rational and the people that's healthy. Because somebody in an unhealthy situation, they might be telling you some shit like, man, you better work that shit out. Woo woo. You never. You might not find another. Man, listen. Least listen to the people that's in healthy situations that you see around yourself, but also listen to the people that's, you know, what I'm saying like, they got your best interest in mind and not like overlooking the flaws of the person because y'all got history or because mm-hmm. it's a bad bitch mm-hmm. or because it look good on paper and all that other bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But the people that got their head on straight, lean on them, talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, it's a lot of fucked up friendships out here where people talk got all these new terms like trauma dumping. Like, don't trauma dump me. What the fuck is a friend for? What the fuck? If I can't call you and tell you what the fuck I got going on, what the fuck is a friend for? Because if you if I can't call you and fucking tell you what I got going on, then I need to be able to call you and ask you for 10K. Like, what the fuck are we here for? Because what what else? And like at, at the end of the day, like yeah, like you don't want to, you don't want to like keep a motherfucker keep calling you saying the same shit over and over. That's a different and thing. You done already like gave them, tell, told them to stop fucking this person. And they call you the same. That's a little different yeah. when they dragging the shit. Yeah. But like if somebody call you with some shit, you can't call your homie and tell them what the fuck you got yeah, going on. Yeah, that's talking about, crazy. Don't, don't trauma dump me, bro. Get them the I'm fuck out of here, I'm in a good space, bro. bro. Don't, I don't need like, to hear this right now. Like, wow, well, like, okay, nah, yeah, bro, cool. we ain't doing that. No problem. And then, like, also, like, do take time to yourself. Like, you know, I, women call it self care. You know what I'm saying? Women call it self care. Niggas, like, we call it the game. Get on the fucking game. <laughs> like, do whatever the fuck you got to do apart a by yourself. And that that's not. You need time to yourself to actually think about the situation. That you're Absolutely. not doing anything, but you also need time to yourself to just really like take. It might be the gym, it might be the spa, it might be a massage, it might be just it might be just Call of Duty, it might be, you know, whatever it is that gets you. You know, for me, it's like mm-hmm. boxing, jumping rope. Like even though I, like the boxing shit cool, jumping rope, I find a lot of sanctuary in that. You know what I'm saying? I could think. It, I don't know what it is about jumping rope that just calm me the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? That's real. I think it replaced porn, but. Good for you. Yeah. That's all I got, man. Okay. That's all I got. Battle of the Sexes. <laughs> um, Battle of the Sexes. St. Louis, Louis. 923 City Winery, period. Yeah. So St. Louis is three days before my birthday. New York is three days after. My birthday is right in the middle. And I want to get right in the middle of some shit, too. Period. Either one of those cities. Terry's DMs are open for threesomes. For threesomes. For threesomes. Threesomes only. Is St. Louis three days before his birthday or New York three days after? Yeah. You got to catch him then. You got yeah. to. There's no other option. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sliding so, his DMs. I think that's all we got, man. Shout out to FC Network, everybody on the team. Everything been going beautiful in 2023. We're going to line up 2024 to be even bigger. Be crazy. Um, All the pieces are falling together, man. I'm proud of everybody on the network. And uh, I appreciate all the hard work everybody putting in to make Everybody dreams come true. Facts. Shit at the end of the day. So here we are. We out.